Hiring managers are having difficulty hiring today. Robert Half is here to help at Robert Half. They know talent. Visit roberthalf.com for more information. Uh, yeah, I will tell you the talent that they know. Jared Goff. Hello. He has been outstanding so far this season. And he is very much living up to being the number one overall pick in the draft. He's just not living up to it for the team that drafted him. But they got to a Super Bowl with him, so you can't really regret any part of that. But he has 10 touchdowns, four interceptions. But more so, if you look at what Goff has done over the last few games, it is remarkable. Specifically, the completion percentage, 22 of 25, 280, two touchdowns yesterday. 18 of 25, 315, three touchdowns the game before. And then 18 of 18, 292 yards and two touchdowns in the game before that. A 7 to 0 touchdown to interception ratio, 85% completion percentage. And the Lions are averaging 40 points per game during that span. Mm. Uh, thank you to Sam on the TV side for mm. posting that graphic there on ESPN2. If you're following along at home, if you're listening on the radio, there's the information we just put up there. But I mean, they're really, really good, and he's making them even better. Yeah, Jared Goff is the second player in NFL history in a four-game span to throw 4,000 yards while completing 80% of their passes. You know the other guy that did it? Peyton Manning in 2008. No, by the way, he won an MVP. Oh. Jared Goff, over the last four games, has 1,086 passing yards, completing 83.5% of his passes, nine touchdowns to one pick. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> he is making a mockery of defenses right now. And to make a mockery of the Minnesota Vikings defense the way that he did yesterday, it is really, really impressive. And it has to start the conversation around the Detroit Lions being that team that could take that next step in their progression. They got to the conference championship game last year. You absolutely have to view the Detroit Lions as Super Bowl or bust right now. They have the kind of talent. They have the kind of quarterback that would lend itself to them being able to get to the championship rounds and come out on the right side of those games. So really impressive win by the Detroit Lions, a complete team victory, and they're hitting their stride at just the right time. Goff was 12 for 12 in the first half. It's his third perfect half of the season. Mm. He's been remarkable. And this Ben Johnson Lions offense has been absolutely rolling. They're putting up big numbers. 31 yesterday, 47 a week prior versus the Dallas Cowboys, 42 versus the Seattle Seahawks. They are absolutely a Super Bowl or bust team. Anything less than a Super Bowl will be a disappointment for the Detroit Lions. I think that them and the Baltimore Ravens are the two scariest teams right now in the NFL. And I know the Kansas City Chiefs are undefeated. I know that the Minnesota Vikings suffered their first loss yesterday and looked strong again in defeat. But the Detroit Lions have everything going for them. And they really feel like a cohesive team. They feel like they're pulling the rope the same way. I cannot emphasize enough the job that Dan Campbell has done building the culture within this team. They really feel like they're, one person is not bigger than the sum of its parts, which is a scary thing if you're the opposition. You brought up culture. Sometimes there's like physical on-field moments that I think indicate culture in all sports because it's some it's such an undefinable word. Mm -hmm. You just kind of know it when you see it. You feel it when you have it. The Lions receivers and running backs block downfield all the time, meaning they don't get the football and they're immediately turning into linemen in essence. Mm -hmm. That is an on-field moment indicating culture of like, okay, so my role in, on this play is not to catch it. It's to make sure the guy right there doesn't tackle the guy who does have the ball. Yeah, That is culture to me. No, there's no doubt that's culture. Absolutely. When you have guys willing to sacrifice – and something that doesn't directly benefit them, that shows you that they're buying into the agenda that leadership within the organization is setting for them. Now, to drill down on the Dan Campbell point, I love what he does for this team from a motivational standpoint, being able to galvanize the locker room. What I don't like is the game management issues continuing to pop up. And we saw it again on the first drive that the Detroit Lions had. What the hell are you thinking about, Dan, going forward on fourth and seven from your own 33? What the hell are you doing? That's what he always does. No, but, but but yeah, you, you, you did that in the conference championship game against the 49ers and it bit you in the ass. Mm -hmm. At some point, you have to evolve beyond that. You have to show a little more restraint as a coach. I get it. You're fiery. He's that kind of guy that wants to go knock your head off. I understand all of those different things. But you have to have discipline and restraint as a head coach. There, there's a fine line between sending a message and then making sure – 
that the team is set up to be able to have success. So from a game management standpoint, I am worried about the version of the head coach that you're going to get for the Detroit Lions once we get to the games that matter the most in the postseason. I'm probably more concerned about Dan Campbell's game management than I am the Detroit Lions having to overcome the loss of Aiden Hutchinson. Oh, wow. And that's a big thing. That Good players big. can't overcome bad coaching. Wow. And so that's the one thing that I want to see growth from Dan Campbell as we go through the season. Now, as far as how their defense responded yesterday, I thought they played well. They were able to generate four sacks. You saw Aaron Glenn dial up a lot more blitzes. They blitzed the Minnesota Vikings 20 times yesterday. So you saw that's how they're going to try to answer the absence of Aiden Hutchinson by being able to manufacture pressure through scheme. At some point, that might catch up with you if those young guys in your secondary don't grow up in a hurry. But all in all, it was a great win for the Detroit Lions, being able to get that in the division on the road. That speaks volumes about the character of your football team, especially coming off of a blowout win against the Dallas Cowboys. If I told you guys one of these two things would happen, but only one, Lions make it to the Super Bowl out of the NFC or Jared Goff wins MVP, which one is most likely to happen between those two? I would say... Goff's playing really well, and the numbers are there. What was the first one? Lions win the Super Bowl? No, get to. I would go Lions get to the Super Bowl. Agreed. Shout out, right. shout out to Brian Branch, too, the safety for the Detroit Lions. He's playing unbelievable right now at an all-pro level. Goff's right in there. for He's the first L of the season. Our coach, Herm Edwards, is with us now. And the NFC North might be the best division in the NFL right now, might have the best quarterbacks in the NFL right now. You can go on down the line here. How about my Bears? Four wins of their own. They were on a bye this week. But when you look at this division as a whole, which team do you trust the most? The Detroit Lions. Uh, they showed me something today when they went in and beat the Minnesota Vikings at home, undefeated team in their division. And Hutchinson, they lost Hutchinson last week, but this is a team that's on a mission right now. Uh, they have a powerful running game with those two running backs in Gibbs and Montgomery. And obviously the quarterback, Jerry Goff, is playing outstanding. And their defense does a nice job of, of getting after people. Uh, you know, their secondary sometimes gives up some plays, but this team, in, in my opinion right now, is one of the best teams in the National Football League. And the physicality. Oh, they are they they are they have the bully mentality. Right. And obviously that comes after their head coach and they took down what was an unbeaten team in the Vikings yes. no longer obviously. And so the only unbeaten team left in the NFL are Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. <laughs> but yes. Patrick Mahomes not playing great. In fact, he has more picks than he does touchdowns this season. And so why are you not concerned with the way the quarterback in Kansas City is playing? Well, you just mentioned that they are undefeated. And when you watch him play, you go, boy, something's wrong with these guys. All they do is keep winning. Can you imagine when Patrick Mahomes starts playing better? What is it going to look like then? <laughs> He's playing bad right now. He's got eight interceptions and only six touchdown passes, and they still win games. They beat San Francisco now five times in a row. This was a big game for San Francisco, Kansas City coming into your house. But the Kansas City Chiefs found a way to win again, and that's what they do. They just keep winning. And how about Patrick Mahomes? Two straight games without a passing touchdown. Who cares? Doesn't matter. They're undefeated. When he starts playing good, look out, NFL. I know. No kidding, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Xin chào tất cả mọi người đã quay trở lại với kênh của mình nha. Ngày hôm nay mình sẽ tiếp tục hướng dẫn các bạn là vòng tay và vòng tay hôm nay của mình sẽ có tên của hãng xe, đó chính là Yamaha. Bây giờ mình sẽ bắt đầu làm nha mọi người. Xin chào tất cả mọi người đã quay trở lại với kênh của mình ngày hôm nay mình sẽ hướng dẫn các bạn là vòng tay và vòng tay của mình sẽ hôm nay sẽ có tên của một hãng xe ạ đó chính là ra nước bây giờ mình sẽ bắt đầu làm nha mọi người xin chào tất cả mọi người đã quay trở lại với tên của mình ngày hôm nay mình sẽ tiếp tục hướng dẫn các bạn là vòng tay và vòng tay hôm nay của mình sẽ có tên của một hãng xe đó chính là vin vin phát vin phát bây giờ mình sẽ làm nha mọi người Đầu tiên là mình sẽ làm với màu trắng, à với màu đen. Tha mật thiên khung xin chiếu xin 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 chiếu xin chiếu chấn chấn Đúng chữ, đúng 
如真真如者。Đạo hai cái chữ ghê xong cái lưỡi nó cũng tắt được kìa vào đây Chấn, chấn, rú Rú, rú, chấn Ta Rú 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 Xoa màu đen mình sẽ xóa màu xanh tím nha mọi người Rú Ok, nếu em đọc một rú nữa thì bắt đầu kia lưỡi cái tổ xuống nhé Mình sẽ trang trí 
nốt chữ vòng của mình nha mọi người Mình trang trí nốt nha